Welcome to North 100 Showdown, a Canadian Highlander Throwdown. My name is Serge, joined by the wonderful Ben Wheeler. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. If you have no idea what Canadian Highlander is, or you're just curious about, curious about the decks we're playing, we have the deck list and a short intro to the format video in the linkies in the description below. Showdown is brought to you by you, the support, at the Patreon over at patreon.com slash loading ready run. I got BattleBots. I got Workshop Weenie. I guess technically BattleBots is a different deck. I've used the terms kind of interchangeably. Workshop Weenie. Mm -hmm. I want to go fast. I want to go beep beep. I want to cast a lot of cheap and aggressive artifacts and try and win the game as quickly as possible. I've got some equipment as well. And my point spread is also fast. Mox, Mox, Mana Vault, Academy, and just a, a little treat of a GTA. Uh, I'm not familiar with it. Oh, it's it's good. It's great. You should try it sometime. It's awesome in the creature matchup. Maybe I'll give it a shot because I'm playing Death and Taxes, <laughs> mono white. Okay. Uh, an old standby. Cheap white, annoying creatures, maybe some Armageddons, mm. uh, some equipment such as the Umezawa's GTA <laughs> uh, that's in my point spread, which is joined by Mana Vault, Soul Ring, and Mana Crypt for the full 10. No mocks. No, there's, you, there's a lot of customization that you can sure. do with this. Um, this tech is really mana hungry. Yeah. But you only play twos and threes. That's only, I, I would imagine it was mana hungry, but like white pip mana hungry. It is, but it turns out if you have more mana for your equipment and for your like clunkier spells, then you have more flexibility with what I you guess you want to go like sword equip in a turn as opposed yeah. to like yeah no no that yeah. makes sense that makes sense cool this cool. is gonna, this is going to be a quick one yep <laughs> sure is all right we both have sevens and mm -hmm. I won the die roll unfortunately yeah it was it was very dramatic Wheeler rolled a ten and I was like ha no, no no I rolled a, I rolled a ten you went oh come on and then rolled an eleven <laughs> nice. we take those yeah we take those. Um, and speaking of taking those, let's go really aggressive here. City of Traitors. Holy smokes. Uh, into a turn one Aether Vile Bone Splitter. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, gotta yep. go fast. I told you, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Pass. That's fair. Uh, basic planes go. <laughs> uh, all right, Aether Vile goes to one draw for the turn. Fascinating. Let's go ahead and say uh, Metallic Mimic, mm -hmm. uh, naming Construct. Okay. And then... And then... And then... And then... And then... Uh, then what happened? <laughs> we're going to play Inventor's Fair, sacrificing the City of Traders. Mm -hmm. And we're going to spend one to give the Metallic Mimic the Bone Splitter. Okay. And I'm going to say go. Yeah, really? Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Playing a Gonjo Castle. Mm-hmm. And here she is. Oh. Thalia. A little late. The fan favorite. Uh, go ahead. God, like, if you had the mock start, my turn doesn't get to do its thing, you know? No, you won the die roll. I Remember, know. you <laughs> won the die roll. Go. All right. This goes to two. Yeah. Uh, draw for the turn. Play a land for the turn, which is this Mistress Factory. Mm-hmm. Activate Aether Vial. Mm hmm And we are going to Vial in... Enters the battlefield, great. A monoskeleton, oh my which God. is a construct. So it's going to enter with two plus one plus one counters. Mm -hmm. And I'm immediately going to, oh, I'm supposed to have gained a life um, with Adventure's Fair, because okay. I had three artifacts to start. My apologies sure there. did. Yeah, that was a little sloppy. Uh, I'm going to pay one right now mm -hmm. to remove plus one plus one counter, shoot Thalia. She's dead. And hit you for four. Oh, God. And say go. If it's not the Gitrog, it's the Mono Skellion. <laughs> uh, untap. Draw. Planes. Um, I'm going to play Brutal Cathar. So it's a 3 mana 2-2 two, two human soldier werewolf. Uh, when it comes into play, I get to exile a creature until this leaves the battlefield. And also, daybound and nightbound. Is now relevant? Okay. It's now relevant. All right. Uh, I'm going to hit your metallic mimic. So it gets O-ringed is what's happening yeah. here, right? Yeah. Okay. And it is now daytime. Sure. 
which I can indicate through something. A sleeve <laughs> for now. We probably have a token. I'm pointing at the big screen that is now showing. Oh, wow! Oh, the overlay, the marvels of technology. Like, I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> That's incredible. God, the technology that we have here at Loading Ready Run. When we pitched this show to Graham and Paul, they said we got peanuts for a budget. So, I mean, <laughs> this is great. Uh, go ahead. Untap. Leave it to. Gain a life. Gain a life. Draw a card. Ooh, that's a good one. It's a very good one. Land for the turn is going to be this Buried Ruin. That's a good one. Uh, I'm going to activate Aether Vial at two. Mm -hmm. And you know what's really cool, especially with Aether Vial, is these um, reconfigure cards. Oh. So Lizard Blades is here to party. Mm -hmm. And then Lizard Blades is going to become best friends with the Mono Skellion. Still waiting for the really cool part of all this. <laughs> uh, the really cool part is I have another mana for Bone Splitter, too. Oh, yeah. So it's now a 4 2 double strike. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> cool. R really cool. Really cool. Uh, eight? Yeah. Right. I go to eight. Pass. Draw. Ooh. Now, because I flashed in with the Aether Vial and mm. I equipped, yeah. I did not cast a spell, so it's now nighttime. It's nighttime, and it's Moon Rage Brute, so now it's a 3 3 first strike with Ward. Uh, you got to pay three life. Oh. But you're going to double spell now anyway, so it's fine. That's worse for you. <laughs> Wait, is it? Uh, I'm going to attack you for three. Okay, I'll go to 19. I mean, it's not the most exciting double spell. Well, it's kind of exciting. Why is it worse for me? Um, you'll see. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess you'll have double spelled and that's bad. Yeah, all right, that's fair. I'm going to path to exile your mono skelly. Oh, that is bad. Neat. Uh, yeah, I don't have a response, so this is going to go to exile. Uh, this is going to fall off and become a creature, mm -hmm. and the bone splitter was attached to the monoskeleton, so yep. it becomes unattached as well. Uh, I got news for you. No basics? No basics! Oh, I even, I, not one? Not a single basic. I don't have room for basics in this deck. How did I get typecast as the greedy <laughs> mana base one? Uh, okay, that's fine. Um, I'm playing artifact lands over basics. Yep. <laughs> uh, then I'm going to play a Ranger Captain of Eos. Oh, that is bad. Uh, so it's a 3 mana 3-3. Three, three. When it comes into play, I search my library for a creature with converted mana cost 1 or less, reveal it and put it in my hand, and I can sack it to prevent you from casting <clears throat> non-creature spells. Now, does it have the hope of gear protects that it has to connect first to do that, or no? No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is a card from Modern Horizons. Okay, okay. I'm surprised it doesn't let me draw a card when I do it. <laughs> so I am going to find a da um, Dauntless Bodyguard. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. The one mana, one, two, that when it comes into play, I choose a creature and then can sack it to give that creature indestructible. So when I built this deck, yeah. I was like, ah, no basics, it can't be that bad. And then you're like, yeah, I'm thinking of bringing Mono White d and I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> you're lucky I didn't pack a Ghost. I declined to play Ghost Quarter in this list yeah. and Field the Ruin. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's fine. That's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. Everything's under control. Yeah. Anyways, it's your turn now, which means it's daytime again. Yeah. So Wait, every time it turns into daytime, does it also eat a card? No! <laughs> so I'll eat oh, your lizard blade. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that is bad for me. Okay. Fascinating. Uh, that's a... And yeah, it's your turn. Now, I only have two artifacts this time, so I don't gain a life off the Mishra's Fair. Hot dog. Mm. <laughs> Mishra's Fair. <laughs> Mishra's Factory, Inventor's Fair. Look, look. That will go in the same deck. It's yeah, right. yeah. Uh, how I do this, how I do this, oh, this is a cool play, sequencing, mm -hmm. activate the Aether Vial, yeah. I'm going to flash in Aether Vial in this enthusiastic Mechanaut. Oh, okay. So this is a 2 mana 2-2 two, two flyer, artifact spells are cheaper, and now here's the cool part, um, I'm going to cast a Stone Coil Serpent with X is equal to 4. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, I now have the biggest creature on the board. Hot dog. Yeah, I thought that was kind of neat. It's better than a 3-3 three, three with a bone splitter 
that mm -hmm. like loses. So jazz hands. How okay. many cards do you have in hand? Four. How? This. Uh, <laughs> Go. Untap. Play a land. Mm. Council's no. judgment. Yeah, that's fine. That. Ah, uh, poor snake. Goodbye, danger noodle. Danger noodle. Uh, combat. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, sure, I'm taking three. Uh, second main. I'm going to play. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked. I'm going to play Core Firewalker. Oh! Not super relevant in this matchup, but it might have a couple of hits. Uh, go ahead. Untap, untap, draw for the turn. Um, attack for two. Go to six. I have the world's best blocker. You have protection from red? Well, my etched champion has protection from all colors. Oh, that's not good. That's very good. Yeah. <laughs> but to me, it is good. Okay, well, agree to disagree. Yeah. Uh, say go. Draw. That's pretty good. But I also might be dead. No, I'm not dead dead. Well, but I'm not, but I'm not happy. Okay. <laughs> um, recruiter of the guard. Okay. This comes into play. I tutor for a creature with power, or, or sorry, with toughness, two or less. Yeah. This isn't very good for me. I'm on borrowed time. Ooh. Uh, isn't that the other mode of brazen borrower? Shouldn't have that in your mono white deck. Oh, magic jokes. Ah, ah crap goes wild. <laughs> All colors. Mm. I'm going to grab Phyrexian Revoker. No! <laughs> I'm gonna well play. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. I. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a boomer D and T player, so I'll never forget the Phyrexian Revoker. It's it's no. Uh, yeah, it's no true name. It doesn't no. have protection from you, so colorless can block it. I will name Bone Splitter when it comes to the play. Oh, the double duty! So I don't even have the two turn clock in the air anymore. Yeah. Wow, this guy. Okay. Okay. And I'll pass. You're good. I'm gonna leave this at two. Two in the air. Four. I drew a good one. Urza Saga. That is a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> look, look. It's fine. Go. So you didn't play any spells on your turn. Correct. Which means it's now nighttime. It's now nighttime again. So back to the Moon Rage Brute. Mm. Uh, draw. So that's on that. Oh, I did miss my land, my life gain again. Oh, so I'm sure. at 17. I even looked at the Inventor's Fair, but I was looking at the activated ability. Yeah. So I was like, ah! <laughs> I'm going to tap four and play Seasoned Dungeoneer. Oh, you've introduced the initiative. I have introduced you? the initiative. Okay, so we got night and day and the initiative. What a guy. Just, what a guy. Just to make it hard on everyone. I'll try to get the monarch too at some point in time. Of course you will. Uh, so the initiative is introduced. Yeah. And we have entered the Undercity. Please go find a basic land. Find a basic land. 
You're fine. Uh, I'm going to play this land. Yeah. Uh, so Seasoned Engineer also says, whenever I attack, target attacking Cleric, Rogue, Warrior, Wizard gains protections from creatures until end of turn, and I explore. Luckily, you don't have any warriors, rogues, or clerics? No, all my stupid idiots are soldiers. <laughs> yeah, or werewolf. Yeah, not yet. All right, okay. Um, I am going to play a Dauntless Bodyguard as another spell. I'm going Human to knight. Okay. pair it with the Phyrexian Revoker. Yes, yeah, so you've it's really... Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to pass the turn. You've now double spelled, so I take it my flyer is going to go on a little journey I'm here. I'm going to eat the mechanism. Yes. Good lord. Okay, this is all fine. This is all fine. This is all fine. All right, my turn. Draw step. Sorry, upkeep. Mm -hmm. Gain a life. Draw step. Mm -hmm. This goes to two. Mm -hmm. Land for the turn. Seat of the Synod. Mm -hmm. Now I got the really, the really tricksy moment here of what is better for me. Paying four and cracking Inventor's Fair. So I can go find any artifact in my deck, which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. And put it into my hand, or going double golem token. If I don't cast a spell, that goes to nighttime, though. But I also probably can't cast a spell. I can't tutor and cast a spell unless I got a mox, and that sounds dumb. Um, what else do I have that's zero? Nothing. So you're, it's going to flip again. You probably can't double spell next turn and eat another thing, or maybe you can. Thinking about thought processes out loud. Probably not doing it main phase either way. This stinks. <laughs> this stinks. I'm just going to say go. So untap. Nighttime. It's nighttime. Oh, and you untap with the Undercity. Yep. Everything's awful. Okay, that's um, fine. I'm going to go to the forge and put two on one counters on my seasoned dungeoneer. Oh, interesting. I wasn't uh, expecting that. Draw. Yep. That was pretty good. I'll play a shadow spear. Oh! <laughs> uh, and you are going to double spell, aren't you? No, no, no. Okay, no. good. Thank God. Okay. I'm going to equip my seasoned dungeoneer. Yep. Shadow spear. Yep. Um, combat. Yep. I'm going to attack with this. I'm going to give it protection from creatures, and I explore. Wow. So I reveal a Thalia Heretic Cathar. Put another plus one plus one counter on it. Uh, it does get a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Yeah. I'm going to... I'm going to keep it on top. And so you get hit for 7. And I gain seven. Eleven oh. all, huh? I liked it better when I was further ahead here. Uh, go ahead. I still don't know which is better here. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably supposed to be the Inventor's Fair. Losing, but losing double golem is really bad. But double golem doesn't solve me from this. Uh, this it, will literally kill you next turn. It's lethal with the Undercity. Because I'm going to progress to trap, so you lose five, and then I'll attack with another unblockable. Yeah, all right. When you put it that way, I'm going to crack the Adventures <laughs> Fair. Well, find, you say that I'd literally die if I didn't do something. And find any artifact in my deck. Any artifact at all. Oh, okay. Nope, I still die with that one. All right, okay. Nope, too greedy. Ooh, one, two, three, four. Turns out there's a lot of really not good artifacts in my deck too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of 
the thing with artifact decks. You gotta play the really bad ones to make the really good ones shine. Can't believe I don't have an artifact that just comes in and oblivion rings your board, right? <gasps> Where's my artifact Wrath of God? Engineered explosive? So I don't actually have anything that saves me by itself. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't mean I'm not dead. Uh, so I'm going to start with the Shadow Spear. Okay. My own Shadow Spear. The other option was uh, maybe Thought Monitor, but that doesn't, I can't quite draw off that. Yeah. So it was like a cantrip or something else, you know what I mean? Well, while we're here, yeah. do you know what you're getting off this? I mean, it changes based on draw step. So I'm probably getting Mana Vault. Okay. Because uh, Mana Vault lets me cast and equip this, and I get a free draw of whatever yeah. is off the top. And if I, I mean, technically I, I draw first, and if it's a Wheel of Fortune, mm -hmm. I grab like a Red Moxon or something sure, like that. Sure. So what this lets me do is maybe not concede. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a good point. Uh, like I'm probably pretty dead here. Plus, if I double spell, you do get to flip and take my relevant threat there. Mm -hmm. um, I think I need a miracle. Um, so my chance here, my best chance here is actually if I rip this and cranial plating off the top, might be enough for lethal. Uh, With a mana vault for stuff there. If you get the mana vault. Because then I have enough, exactly enough to mana vault, cast, equip, and that's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, trample, lifelink. No, it's not enough. I don't know. Let's at least flip the card and we'll see. We might be going to game two here. <laughs> Would you like to cut? All right. This is in my hand. Untap. Upkeep. I'm going to move that to three just in case. Mm -hmm. We have the draw step, and then that goes to three. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a land. Let's just go okay, to game two. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, there could be some interesting stuff happening here, but no. You've got too much board. I'll take my three <laughs> cards back. Good lord. That card is a problem. It's so that good. card is it a is problem. So yeah, the, it is... Um, I gotta tell you, these new night and day cards, they kind of represent some problematic play patterns. Because if I exile your thing, and then you don't, and you run out of threats. Yeah. Or anything to do. Yeah. Or have to play reactive. Then I get to transform. Yeah. And then I just get to control whether or not I'm going to exile your thing. Yeah. Or you could try to overwhelm it by playing multiple bodies, which then causes it to flip. And it's just, yeah. yeah. It's, no, that's a, uh, that's a big issue. I don't play a tremendous amount of removal yeah. in this deck, you know? It's kind of wild how many decks. I mean, D and T is is not an ex a great example of this, but like some matches uh, with the deck play out like that. Just threats plus removal, mm. and that's it. Well, it's Can funny. You far away. In this matchup too, you almost play like a control deck, which is kind of funny, yeah. right? So you went through the classic uh, con control play pattern of get hit. Mm -hmm. Stabilize, mm -hmm. slowly take over through yeah. car through card advantage, mono white card advantage. What in the world? Uh, do you want to cut? Oh, you're fine. All right, let's rip the seven here. Come on, that's too bad. That's very too bad. If I had a second land, this hand is gas. Six. I'll be going to six. Oh, sneep! Ooh, wait. If you put it close enough to your ear, uh -huh. oh. you'll go deaf by how much of a sneak that was. Well, I know it's not a mock start. That's true. <laughs> Probably still bad. Just how many points? How many points? Zero. Okay, all right. It's not like... Uh... Wait, sorry. How many points is uh, Time Vault again? <laughs> I was worried about, you know, like... Crypt into GTA or something like that. No, we haven't long gone are the days of DNT having like the Eldrazi package. Mm. Um, they've slowly kind of faded away. They have been replaced with better cards, so it's not really complaining about it. But like the like the best I can do 
is like a turn one Gideon ally of Zendikar. Okay. Or whatever. Which is still pretty good. Or Season Dutch. Going to five. That happens. Look, when you play these very aggressive, very high variance decks, mm -hmm. sometimes uh, sometimes you mull yourself into the dirt. Five can keep you alive. Oh, five, five can be very strong in this deck. Mm -hmm. The first card I drew was Wheel of Fortune. I was like, Ooh. you have my attention, right? Like you can you can really refill on this. I'm playing two wheel effects. Twister, twister and wheel? No, Windfall and wheel. I don't own a twister. Windfall and wheel. Yeah. I mean, Windfall is still, if there's ever a deck where Windfall is just yeah. going to be twister. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm at five. Okay, come okay, in, okay. Come some gas all right, here. all right, all right. Here's the lucky cut. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You can't keep getting away with this. Oh, you two get out of here. Me deleting that album off my new iPad or <laughs> iPhone. Is that All correct? Right. With anything? This is my five. All right, we got a game. We got a game. Good, Good luck to you, my friend. Good luck. Um, Water and Grave tapped. Mox Sapphire. <laughs> yep. And Ginger Brute. Ha -ha. Oh. Beep beep. <laughs> um, 19. Yeah, go. Aether Vial, go. <laughs> hey, you had it last turn. It's true. Game. I did have it last game turn. Mm -hmm. And yours is foil. Oh, my Aether Vial? Yeah. yeah. Um, Bloodstained Mire. Yeah. Beep beep. Um. Say go. Uh, counter on Aetherbomb. Planes. Hmm. Leonin Arbiter. I'll respond. Okay. <laughs> 19. I'm going to go get the red black duel. Yeah, because I've already got. Ah, red blue. Red blue. Okay. Black is my splash color. Steam Vents. Uh, and then that's going to be a pass. Symmetrical. <laughs> this listed for a while. I actually still liked playing fetch lands in my D and D oh, list. I have none for the right. I don't have any in this one. I I still I'm not entirely sure, but there are a lot of D and T players locally, <laughs> and so if you fight the mirror, you don't. You know, no, no. City of Traitors. Mm -hmm. Five mana, Stone Coil Serpent. Oh, yep. It's a big snack. Eldraine Tribal. Uh, say go. <laughs> yeah, my favorite card in Eldraine was Mox. <laughs> like, I mean, it's. May as well have been, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Mox Sapphire sounds underpowered for Eldraine. Yeah, best friends with Oko, yeah. right? <laughs> uh, I'll play a Sunbaked Canyon. I'll play a Chad. Uh, Gideon of the Trials. Yeah. Comes into play with three loyalty counters. The first ability, uh, plus one, until your next turn, prevent all damage that target permanent would deal. No! Zero, it becomes a 4-4, four, four, uh, never killing me boy. And then uh, another zero, I get an emblem that says, as long as I control Gideon, I can't lose the game. And you can't <sighs> win. Uh, I'm going to... So I'm sitting there and I'm like, man... Wheeler plays a lot of removal. All of my eggs in one giant snake basket kind of feels bad. Yeah. All right. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. I mean, this card unchecked, though, can kill people. Yeah. I do think this card is just underplayed in general. Unblockable. Mm -hmm. Fight Chad. Chad goes to three. Chad goes to three. Uh, I'm going to play this Arcbound Slith. Ooh, okay. Yeah, this is kind of a cool card. Two mana, zero, zero, but has modular one, so it enters play with a plus one, plus one counter. And it has the slith text, so if it deals combat damage to a player, put more plus one, plus one counters on it. Mm -hmm. This might be one of the little surge pet cards, but I like it. <laughs> it's good. It gets big. Passes on tokens. Yep. Uh, end of turn, activate. I'll flash in a Cathar Commando. Flyer? Two mana, no. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, sorry. I saw. Okay. I saw. I, I saw flash, yeah. but I thought it said flying. Oh, thank God. He, he's flying through. Uh, All right. Or they're flying through the woods. I guess mm. it's a three-one that I can pay one and sack it to destroy an artifact or enchantment. I'll keep this on two. Sorry. What? Yeah. No. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. It's okay. 
For who? Me. Um, I'll take up one on your stone coil there. Mm. I'll play a skull clamp. Okay. And I'll clamp my arbiter. Mm. And I will pass. That good, huh? It's actually not a bad draw. This is unfortunate. <laughs> my draw would have been better. Uh, red and two. I'm going to cast Lizard Blades. Mm. I'm going to respond. Mm. I'm going to allow it. Oh, okay. Writes down two mana creature. <laughs> I still have one floating. I'm going to give it to the Ginger Brute. Mm -hmm. And the Ginger Brute is going to try and clear Chad. And I have to decide whether or not I want to make that unblockable or not. I think I'm happy if you put either of your creatures in the way. No, I'm not. I'll make it unblockable. Uh, I'm going to go to 16. I'm actually going to kill your Ginger Brute. Okay. Go. Keep this at 2. Draw. Tick up on that. Mm. Go. Arc Bounce Lith. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to attack you. I will block with my Leonid Arbiter. Okay. It dies. Yeah. Uh, I draw two cards. Yeah. Yeah, like I can't, I can't be passive even with that. I yeah. need to try and do something with my life. And I'm going to go ahead and say go. Uh, end of turn. I've got a 15. Play out an idiot bird. <laughs> I was going to say. I bet you there's still a hate card, though. Yeah. Um, and I'm actually going to activate Aether Vow and put out a non-bow here in the form of Spirit of a Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, untap. Mm -hmm. Tick this to three. Mm. Draw. Okay. Uh, I'm going to tick up on the uh, Servant, and I will attack you. Oh, I'll block Spirit of Labyrinth with sure. these. So this is prevent all damage until your next turn? Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't, it locks, I take two, and yeah. I go to 17. Um, go to 14, I'm going to cast Recruit of the Guard. Mm, very good. Uh, trigger. I'm going to find Brutal Cathar. But. I know. But. I know. I'm sorry. But why? Um, well, because it'll likely eat your slith. Yeah. Yeah. The question is, do I want to do it now? The question is, can I find the card? Uh, I'm going to pass after I find this Brutal Cathar. Okay. You're going to let me have the hope of attacking with it before you do all the bad stuff? Yeah, I'm going to make you commit to wherever this Lizard Blades is. That's kind of fair. Oh. That is kind of cool. Feels like it's a little too little too late, but you know, so it goes. Hey, I'm going to uh, commit with this Arc Bound Slith coming right at you. Uh, I'm going to activate this Aether Valve. No! I'd like to put in play Brutal Cathar. Yeah, okay. It is now daytime. <laughs> and I would like to mock your arc bound slip, please and thank you. Gah. Second main. Uh -huh. Three mana. I'm going to cast a Nettle Cyst. Yep. Uh, I'd like to pay two and equip the Lizard Blades to the to the Germ Token. Uh -huh. um, and then I'm going to play a Dark Steel Citadel. My City of Traders is going to die. Sure. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five double strike. Gross. 
pass. Draw. Play of planes. Hmm. This is kind of funny. Uh, I'm going to clamp my spear to the labyrinth. So it dies, and now I can finally draw more cards. Mm. I'll draw two. <clears throat> I'm going to pay one. I'm going to put the clamp on the Brutal Cathar. Yeah. I'm going to uptick on the Stone Coil. That's fair. And then I'm going to pass. Mm. How dare you? All right. God, you have so many cards at hand? Yeah. All right. Is there hope? No, I don't think there is. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I do get like a pretty spicy attack here, though, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cast this Monoskeleon. Mm. Yep. Yeah, which is kind of cool. It was cooler when I had more like plus one plus one synergy and stuff here. This doesn't have trample, so I can shoot one of your blockers. God, if I had the ability to shoot twice and threaten for, uh, that's 12 damage. Like that could have been a threat for lethal, yep. like a very credible threat for lethal yep. there. And my life gets a lot more uncomfortable after this. So, I mean, clearly we shoot first. I'll, uh, I'll shoot there. Yeah. Or if I can, you know, give the trampler a double strike or something. Like, we're, yeah. not, we're not quite in a world where we stabilize. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, attack for a six, six double strike. I will block with the aim of mind sensor. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, I did, I cast one spell. Go to you. Attack. I'll make you double Draw. spell. If you insist. I'll uh, play Rashad and Port. Mmm, Rashi P. Uh -huh. Tap two to play a Phyrexian Revoker. Naming? Nettle Sis. Okay. Um, and then I am going to tap another one, two, tap two. Uh, actually, no, this is better if I tap one. Tap one, uh, Mana Vault. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to tick up on your Stone Coil, mm. and then I am going to pass the turn. What are you it's, eating? I'm eating your Germ Token. <clears throat> All right. Uh, and I'm not going to port in your upkeep. Okay. You're good. <laughs> ah, well, you fool! It's my own Aether Vial! No! Yeah, uh, we're gonna do two mana here. Mm -hmm. Monoskeleon now has the Lizard Blades. 1-1 mm -hmm. one, one Double Strike! Coming at you. Uh, no blocks. Yeah, take two. Take two. We're on the board. Okay. Go. Nighttime. No, you cast a spell. Oh, I did! Yes! I did cast a spell. Uh, draw. Alright. Pick up on this. Yep. Wait. Ow. Oh, that's a big ballista or hanger back walker. Oh, I guess I don't have to. Uh, no, it's going to be a walking ballista. Yeah. Um, sorry. Whoop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Uh, ballista on four. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm going to remove a counter to kill this. Yep. I'm going to remove a counter to kill this. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna, I believe I already did this. Yeah. The Gideon um, combat. I mm, block. Block there. Take two. Take two. Um, second main. Nothing. Go ahead. All right. So my out here, uh, upkeep one, upkeep no RCP, is a walking ballista. <clears throat> so. Scary look on your face. Uh, 
I was so ready to concede. <laughs> I mean, I won't stop you. The rules say you can do it at any time. Drink a mage. Okay. My, my out is a, is a walking ballista. Which is now in my hand. Mm -hmm. It's going to come down next turn. Okay. I have played one spell. I'm going to pass. I uh, take one from Mana Vault. Draw. I'll play Muta Vault. Yeah. Um, I will take up on that. Yeah. I'm going to pay one to put the skull clamp on my... Oh. Tap four. I'm going to put an extra counter on walking ballista. Okay. And I'm going to shoot your trinket mage twice. A one uh, combat. Yeah. Everybody. I'll block there and take three. Take three. Uh, then I'm going to move the clamp over to walking ballista. Yeah. It dies and I draw two cards. Yeah. Um, then I'm going to pass the turn not having played any cards. So this transforms. Yes, it does. Uh, in your upkeep, I'm going to activate my Rashad uh, import going to 10 to tap your steam vents. See the Synod. Mm hmm. Now I need to pick my window. <laughs> so if I played for four, mm -hmm. I have a two two. I can shoot this, turn my Nettlesis back on, mm -hmm. but then you can double spell and flip it. Yeah. So I am incentivized to wait until I have six mana, but you can keep me off of one with Rishi P all of the turns. Mm -hmm. I have time to wait because you're only chipping in for two damage every turn mm -hmm. in, the, in the board state we have right now. But you have 7,000 cards, which also guarantees that you're going to double spell. Yeah. So I am not supposed to play out my hanger back walker here and hope for a break to this, even though you're going to develop your board more. Because I need to kill this. I need to kill this to get my board back online. Yeah, you need to get this off the Yeah, board. I can't do anything until that's gone. And I get a bit more of a board after we do. And it's actually fine if you double spell afterwards, because, I mean, actually, the thing that I can do is I can play it at two and leave it. And mm -hmm. if you do double spell, then I just kill it. But the problem is, have you cast Council's Judgment yet? No. The problem is, if you have any removal spell that interrupts, interrupts that line of play, it's bad. Yeah. If I play it at two and you don't have a removal spell, I can add a fourth counter after <laughs> mm -hmm. and shoot the turn after that. But no, I, I think I need to play the patient game here and wait. Okay. Which is what I'm going to do. Pass. Okay. Uh, got a nine. I've also got this win con with the mana vault. That's true. Yeah, you know. Uh, basic plays. Yep. I'm going to crack this to draw a card. Mm, yep. Mm, I'll save that. Uh, combat. Yeah. Or it's worth mentioning uh, you haven't activated oh, Gideon yet. I will activate. Yeah, him. yeah, just yeah, for the, yeah, and, yeah. And that's uh, that's not how I want to win. Yeah, uh, I will block. I'll take two and go sure. to ten. Um, 
I'm going to play a Smuggler's Copter. Yep. And I'm going to play a Mother of Runes. Awesome. Um, and uh, I'll play a dog, an Isamaru. Yeah. Uh, past the turn, this flips, getting that, and I'm going yeah. to port your Steam Vents. Yeah. Interesting line, because now if I kill it, my snake just dies because it enters a 0-0. Zero, zero, unless I have... Oh, this is supposed to go to 3. I haven't sure. drawn yet. Unless I draw... Oh, very interesting. I think that's fine. I think it's finally time for me to try and overthrow the tyranny that is this stupid <laughs> Cathar. Oh, what a hoser! He is brutal. Yeah, and a Cathar. Is there a world in which life gets better for me? Uh, I mean, if you don't do anything, I can. I have lethal. Yeah. Remember, that's... this can turn to a four-four. Yeah, that is kind of bad. Man, this card put in so much yeah. work. It put in so much work. Walking ballista for two. Sure. I've cast a spell. It's not gone. I think I'm... This can't get protection from artifacts. Correct. It's the wrong mum. Wrong mum. Wrong mum. Say go. Um. Ten. I'm gonna pay to untap my mana vault. Mmm. Okay. Draw. That's a pretty good one. Boo. Play planes. Yeah. Turn Gideon into a real boy. Ha ha! I'd like to go to beginning of combat. I'm going to crew the smuggler's yep. copter. Yep. And then go to attack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <clears throat> and the four, four. Combat. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Everybody in. Uh, copter trigger. Yep. Oh. Get over there. Get over there. Uh, I'll discard this unlicensed hearse. So, these are attacking. Yes, yeah. they are. Activate Aether Vial. Ooh, okay. I have a Scrapyard Recombiner. Oh, hot dog. So it's going to enter with two plus one <clears throat> plus one counters on it, and it's modular. Mm. That was as far as I'd thought. Because <laughs> now I've got some interesting shenanigans, like, is there a world in which I can block and have the scrapyard recombiner die, putting the counters on ballista, so I keep the ballista and I can slowly shoot your board down. I don't think I can. No. So my best possible block here is probably to walking ballista in front of your Gideon and then shoot the Cathar and then put the scrap combina combiner combinator <laughs> in front of the in front of here. And then that gets me back my two creatures one of which is just going to die right away, and my nettle cyst is back online, and then I can equip the nettle cyst onto it and trundle back. Yeah. So, DM I do that. So before damage, I'm going to block and shoot, shoot. Yep. Star dies. Now, the plus side on this is I do have a second modular artifact creature that comes into play. Mm -hmm. uh, so that when... Sorry, go ahead. I'm going to respond... I... All right, so I have, I have. Let's say we're at the point where I am actively shooting. All right, I'd like yeah. to shoot once. Yeah, you're shooting. Shooting once works. Okay, I'd like to shoot the second time. So that is now dead. This is now in the process of dying due to state based. And this has a... two damage marked on it. Well, hold on, this won't die until that dies. There's two damage coming to that. They die at the same time due to state based, right? No, because this is an activated ability. 
So you oh, removed your. Oh, right. I've removed counter. this, and there's a there's one damage in the process of flying over onto your creature. Yeah. Correct. You're gonna kill this now. Yeah, I'm gonna channel a Gonjo Seat of the Empire. Yeah. Actually, it only costs two because this is a legendary creature. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna deal four to this blocking creature. Ooh. Ooh, and that prevents me from moving two plus one plus one counters onto my arc bounce lift. And keeps us alive. And saves your No, my turn! Where oh. Alright, I think I think that may have been Alright, so this dies. I do get my arc bounce lift back. Yeah. Um oh, that was a pretty good draw you had there. Was that the card you looked at and you're like, oh I drew it and I was like, ah, but uh I'm not using it this turn. Mm. Surely. But then you saw a sweet line from me and you had to crush what little hope I had. Yes. Okay, that's fair. Uh, so you're now taking five? Yes, I go to five. Great. Um, selfless spirit. Okay. Go ahead. But untapping, six mana, an aether violet three, and a creature. Wheel of Fortune. Mana ball. <laughs> Thank you for the games. Oh man, I had hope. I saw a light at the end of the tunnel, and uh, and DNT did the DNT thing. I mean, this is one of those hands too that, like, I mean, that was a mold of five. Remember, right? That was a mold of five. I feel better about myself. Yeah, that's pretty scary. Like there, any well, there's a, a large number of draws that you can have, or a combination of draws. That could kill me. Yeah. You said you were going to concede like four turns ago. <laughs> yeah, but that Trinket Mage, the Trinket Mage into Walking Ballista opened yeah. up a lot of That's possibilities what I, sorry, to get out. To yeah. clarify, oh. I'm not saying that to hold it oh, on no, you. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying yeah. like, you're like, oh, well, there's no way I can win. Oh, wait a minute. Let's yeah. extend the game. This Gideon of the Trials, man. You think playing against like a maze of it as a as a as like um, an aggro versus control feels bad? Try having your biggest threat turned. And I kind of knew that too. There was, I could have played the Stone Coil Serpent on three, mm -hmm. uh, a turn earlier. Like I actually had a lot of man for this, like a lot of lands for this mold of five. I could have like double spelled the one turn. Yeah, and had um, I think it was like Slith and and Serpent on at the same point. But I was like, ah, 5-5, five, five. if he has a removal spell, he has a removal spell, and that was a stupid Gideon. But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, a lot of people have been humming and hawing about that card occasionally. I think it kind of got back into favor because people are like, oh, well, it's good against Thassa's Oracle. Uh, or, like, uh, Brain Freeze, Underworld Breach kind of decks. But, like, no, it's also just good at saying, no, your 5-5 five, five doesn't get to kill Yeah, me. your questing beast, your creature with a GTA, if you only have one thing, like it. I, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad oh, news. It has, questing beast has another line of text of damage can't be prevented. <laughs> hey. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, it certainly does. Yeah, but um, we don't have time to talk about questing beasts. Oh, there's too much text on it. Yeah. There's entirely too much text on it. Yeah, because the episode's over, but that's okay, because... We have many other episodes like this, uh, all of which uh, have been brought to you by the support from patreon.com slash run. It's because of all of you that we're able to at least make our way through the text on Questing Beast. <laughs> uh, and if you want more information on the decks we have or the format or all that good stuff, it's down in the description below. Thanks for watching. I love you and I'm in love with you. And then also thanks, Serge. Bye!